How's it going my dandelions? Welcome to a game older than time. One of the first games that I ever played on Steam. This is a game of dwarves. Now this is an amazing colony game where you control a group of dwarves and you're trying to raise up the powers from the ashes of the dwarves. Now there's an amazing intro to the campaign but before we get into that amazing intro I want to say thank you so much to all my supporters. Shout out to my brother Alex. Shoutouts to Khan, shoutouts to Liam, and shoutouts to Stacy, who is our highest tier supporter, which is just ridiculous. So huge shoutouts to you guys. Also, I want to give huge shoutouts to everybody that has supported me from day one on the grind. Guys, thank you so, so much. Honest to God, it really means a lot to me. Let's jump into the campaign and enjoy the brand new, beautiful start of this. If you guys do want to see us as a series, let me know down below. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to hit that notification button, and if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I got a lot of content that I think you'll enjoy. So, our prince's name is going to be Prince Daniel, and we're going to jump right into the story. Listen to this if you can. It's quite amazing. A long, long time ago, in a cap. <clears throat> ah, no way. Somewhere around here, I mean. And this very mountain. The first dwarves entered this world. The dwarves had unlimited ambition and the talent for whatever they set at their minds to. They dug through mountains, built wondrous artifacts and structures, and had a courage of steel to face the fiercest of monsters. And win. On their way to glory, they encountered other races, such as the Nimble Elves, and the Mighty Dragons. With their help, soon the Dwarves had spread far from their homeland, and created a vast kingdom. But that was a long time ago, and I was merely ancient back then. In the end, it was due to change. They came from the unknown regions of the north. Mages. The dwarves had never seen anything like them. They wielded powerful energies called magic and brought with them terrible creatures that seemed to hate the very world itself. Even so, the dwarves offered their hand in friendship. But the mages had no such intentions. They struck out against the dwarves, and soon the Great Dark Magic War had begun. The dragons flew to help the dwarves, but the mages were so powerful that they managed to strike the dragons down from the sky, destroying them. The elves fled the lands to let the dwarves fight for themselves. The noble dwarves fought long and hard their survival against the ruthless mages and the terrible destruction they brought in their wake. With no one to help, the dwarves Dad. were pushed back. Dad! Dad, you told this story dozens of times already. It's not real. There are no mages or dragons, and we don't even have a great kingdom laying around. This is boring to listen to again. But soon, the dwarves will rise again, and they will build a civilization worthy of their stolen glory! Dad, are you talking to yourself again? No. That's the intro. What a great intro to a game. It's literally a story of its own, like... There's nothing as good as the intro that I've ever seen to this game. Like, it's so troll. Stacy recommended me a game, Dungeons 2 or whatever, and it, I swear this was made around the same time as it, because it has funny little references, as you've seen. It had funny references to, like, Star Wars and all that stuff, which is pretty awesome. But here we go. This is the game. It's going to tell us basically what we're going to be doing off the beginning. So there's our father, and there we are. Our father is the guy that told an amazing story. I'm the prince, and you will hear me. When kings speak, you 
listen. <laughs> listen up. Put down the ale and listen. So, what's going on right now is our dwarf wants to rule the kingdom. But little does he know, the father doesn't think he is worthy enough of the heir, so we need to go off and prove ourselves. So, that's what's going to happen. we got to go and literally prove to our father that we are worthy of the title. So here is the map. This is where you start out at. Welcome and greetings to the Valheim. Ah, I'm supposed to introduce myself. I'm the prince of the dwarven people, but only... I'm, I'm the prince of the dwarven people, the only remaining direct descendant of my king father. King Father has encouraged me to be more responsible and take on more duty, duty seriously. So here I am. Here on out, I will be the head of my own clan. However, I'll not be considered a true clan until we can complete the following things. The trial. We shall look into the lessons King Father has prepared upon us to learn about how to control everything. Just click the lessons button in the lower screen. Besides that, there are two places we can go. The backyard, where we can train in how to control our settlement, and to the trial. Or we'll test our mets. Um, we would recommend doing the first thing, the king's lessons. Basically, it wants us to do the tutorial here before we go here. But here's the map, quite quite large for a game of its size. Uh, it looks like there's different kind of monsters and stuff. I've never made it past like literally. I want to say so, like at least here. I think I've done this and I played this just for hours and hours way back when. So. Let's go ahead and do the backyard where we're going to go ahead and learn the game. So, let's see what's going on here. So, there I am. Must I do for someone to listen to me? All right, here we are. This is a place where the dormant calendars practice the things that undertake the trial. Um, perfect basics is how to rule your own settlement. If you haven't already, we should really look into King Father's lessons on the world map. It explains everything that you need to know how to control. But first, you should focus on training step by step. You should pay close attention to the quest log. It gives detailed information about quests that perform and other things like its level. So, this is our little settlement here. And it tells us little question marks to show us something's in that area. Look around and use both mouse wheels and keyboard, which we're definitely doing. With the mouse, you can just move the cursor and all that fun stuff around to the edge with the camera. With that, you can move the WASD and then D with the camera as well. Um, holding the scroll button with Q and E allows you to turn the angle. Underground is on a flat layer, so you can actually dig up and down, right and left. You can also use R and F to go through the levels, which is actually really cool to know because I uh, forgot which button that was, so let's kind of remember that. Sometimes you want to zoom in and out, just like so. Or you can hit Z and X, it said. So that's pretty cool. So I can actually go ahead and start mining. So let's see. Here in my throne room, the throne, a spawning pool, one dig, one digger dwarf, really only one dwarf. To get him to work, we should first select the dig order on that blinking icon down there. Um, okay, and now we should start clicking it to dig it out. Let's practice something. We should at least mine a few blocks. The big black void over there consists of blocks that have not been dug out yet. Uh, mindfully, the blocks here seem uh, intimate and cannot be dug out. So the ones that are full of this kind of ground looking thing, cannot be dug but the ones that are like this other blank we can actually go ahead and dig those out so we're gonna go ahead and dig this way because it wants us to basically do that so here goes our little dwarf and he's gonna go ahead and dig out this wall ba boom there we go hold on what is this so we just dug out an entire area as you can tell he went ahead and smashed that Seems we found a big empty room. And what's that over there? That looks like gold. We should definitely gather some. We should gather materials using the, and the dig orders and the block and the juices we can manage to find out. So let's go ahead and set up some dig orders to make sure we get all this gold here. And then I'm actually going to make it so we can go quite a fair few bits out there. So we're going to go like that. And we're going to get a lot of money. This is going to be quite useful. It's going to make him a little bit happy. We have one little minor dwarf. No fighters. None of this stuff up top. I don't know what any of it is. So we're definitely going to have to learn there. Ooh. Ooh. Large cover for great storage. I thought that was something that we can actually use. All right. Oh, no. Oi. Look, there's a big room. This must be one of those older parts from Hemfort. 
Did you see the darker color blocks? Do not dig those. If you do, we cannot continue. Darker color blocks. Okay, so I'm guessing he doesn't mean he means the walls. Great digger dwarf, you earned some well deserved rest. You don't have to dig anything else for the time being, so let's disable the dig skill. Okay, so he wants us to stop digging. So our people are tired and they need a best in some place to rest. So we're gonna click on this. Dwarven Q. Alright, done. Um Order new doors with the button plus the amount of happiness you decide for them to take on arrival. You could also buy some stuff. I would buy some stone. Interesting. Alright, so what should I do now? I think it wants us to go ahead and do something. But I don't know what it wants us to do, so maybe let's ch chat with him. We need beds. So tired so our doors can have some rest. Okay, so in order for us to get beds, what do I have to do? Let's kind of figure it out. That just loaded. Oh, okay, we're just letting our guy kind of rest. That's what it was doing. So we're just waiting for that little thing to tick around. Great, the dwarfling, dwarfling has arrived. Spawning pool can connect back to Hemisphere. The dwarfling will appear when you order them. Now that we have a dwarfling, we can give him a profession. Dwarflings can be upgraded instantly to, but get free experience over time when they're not upgraded. So let's click the plus icon next to his name. So where is this dwarf? And he should become a crafter. He should be set aside in history forever. Okay. So here comes our new dwarf. Hit the little plus sign. He's going to become a crafter dwarf. Do -do -do -do. Finally, the dwarf that will be able to do some good. Alright, let's build something useful. Click on the build button. And uh, let's build a dwarf and portable bed. You can basically have an area for him to rest and hold down the left mouse button and you can rotate items and face the direction that you want or you can sell the orders in the case of, okay so it wants us to go ahead and build a bedroom here so i guess we can go ahead here and put a bedroom how do i rotate it oops Oh, I see. Okay. I would like to cancel this one here. Alright. Um, how does one cancel things is what we need to figure out. What the heck is that? I have no idea what that is. Oh. Oh. Oh, that just duplicated the item. Wow, that's actually really neat. Okay. What else is this stuff? A wooden ladder. So that's going to allow us to go up and down. Interesting. So he's going to go ahead and build that. Yes, I put it in the wrong spot, but we're slowly learning, so that's okay. Alright, so we got that built. I'm going to go ahead and take a drink of my hot chocolate. Finally, we can now build the beds and doors have somewhere to sleep. Now we need food. Doors can't surprise, survive without a proper meal. Several things that we need to do in order to get food, but first we should have somewhere for the dwarves to eat. Let's open up the build menu. All right. So let's go into here and give them a little area to eat. Now, I like the idea of it being kind of in the middle here. So let's see if we can do that. Oh, that's kind of horrible because that's where the digging area is, but oh well. Can't speed the game up yet? Oh, yeah, we can. Cool. He's level three, he's level three builder. That's amazing. Level four miner as well. Great, now a place for the doors to eat. They're hungry and they'll go to it and they'll eat as much as they basically can from with the food. Um, but with no food, we're just going to start starving. So now they have beds, food, and table. We could use some food. So let's look at the darker color blocks. That's these here. So if we actually dug these, it would tell us it would be game over. But if we go ahead and dig these, the good thing is this is going to be fertile soil that we can actually start planting stuff. Uh, since there's no sun underground, we need to build something which provides energy that the plants need to grow. So I'll need some fertilized stone for that. So we'll need to get in, in the build menu. Alright, so let's go into here. Go inside this. Oh, it's this thing. Oh my gosh, I remember this from ages ago. 
has to be planted on here. Let's do one there. And then we'll do one here. And then we'll leave it like that for now and see how that goes. I don't know if we only need one or what, so let's have our guy kind of go chill. Looks like he's going to go around here to build that. That's fine. Done. All right. So now with the fertile soil, energy has been given out. Okay, yeah, so you can see that it only reaches a specific area. So it's time to grow some food. Open up the build menu from the lemon tree. Find the lemon tree, sorry. And uh, we'll go ahead and make it ready for some foods. Perfect. What the heck is that? Let's pause the game. Move an object. Ah. Oh. Aha. Perfect. I can go ahead and move this now since I done messed up. There we go. Perfect. Oh, you know, it's not perfect because this needs to move as well. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. We got to move the beds, which is quite nice. Now it wants us to go into here and click on the little lemon trees. Four there. And four there. Perfect. So finally we can eat, but for some reason we need a new dwarfling. All right. So I want us to get a new dwarf. So if we go over here and click on this, you get a dwarf in the queue. So that should go ahead and order some new dwarfs. So we're kind of figuring out how everything comes together, which is quite nice. So we're learning how to get dwarves. We're learning how to get it so our workers need to sleep, where they need to eat, how to get food so far, and building and mining and kind of getting things all situated. So there we go. Our dwarfling should be here. And once he's here, we're going to hit the plus icon and we're going to make him into a farmer, I'm pretty sure. Jurhid is here. So Jurhid, you are going to become a worker, I think it wants you to become. So we turn him into a worker so he can start collecting food. So there should be a plus icon on the fertile soil. We'll go ahead and click that and you'll start planting things in this area. Perfect. So this guy joins us and he instantly goes to work. Look at the different arts. Okay, he's like a fat looking little dwarf. Look at this guy. He, got, he, has, he has a pipe, you know. He's got a nice little, he has a nice little tie. We got our little dwarf over here. He looks happy AF, but he also looks hella drunk. All right, and now we're gonna be able to start gathering food, which is gonna be quite nice. So then we're gonna click next, next, next. First we need to move in some protection. So I think it's time for us to order a dwarf that can protect us. So we're gonna click on this. Queue up another dwarf here. And this dwarf is gonna keep us alive and save us. So I wanna kinda see what this little thick looking dude does. So he gathers up some food. Where's our food at? Up there. We have 710 and we have one out of two dwarves. And our new guy is here. Select the military class for him. All right, will do. Daniel, level 10 prince. Nice. Military, gonna cost us 50 food. Voila! Now we can defend our base, so he's good to, for protection. Um, right, so now we can start digging again, because the deeper we go, that is where bad things can possibly be. So I'm guessing it wants us to dig this little area here out. So our little buddy dwarf here is actually going to start his mining journey, because he wasn't able to do that before. You can see here him actually working on doing that. Oh, is that a mole? It is! Alright. Ah! No, it's a beast in there. Everyone stay away from it. Military dwarf, go and kill it. Save me. I mean, us. If I get killed, then it's all over. You must keep me alive. Alright, we have a teleport order. If we click on that dwarf... I don't know where the heck the dwarf is. Uh, we can place the dwarf somewhere else. For example, if we teleport the military dwarf to a place right on top of the monster... Okay, military dwarf. How do I teleport you? Oh. Oh, I figured it out. Ah, 
Okay, there we go. I figured it out. Here we go. Look at this combat. Oh, the, the mole dodged. Done. Done. Deekled him. He got God, Alicia. Damn near one smack that mole. It's like this. I'm a mole. And my guy's like, yeah? Well, I got a steel axe. Eat this. Huh. And the mole went poof. KO. Done. It's dead. It's dead, I mean. Well done, military dwarf. I'm glad you handled that like true warriors with honor and courage. Yeah, we did because our guys, if you haven't noticed, is a true coward. Which I should have named Alicia instead of Daniel. So. <laughs> so now we have a proper base and some place to defend. What's that? Say, it looks like there's a locked door. Maybe it could be a way out. Let's open it. Alright, so let's go interact with that door. So. Oops, we can click this little button here. How do I do? How do I do this? Is that gonna work? No? Try pulling it. Oh, okay, I had to click on somebody. Alright, so now we should be able to go beyond this point. Alright. So let's kind of see. Got our guy over here to start mining. Get ready to teleport. Dig down. Alright, so it wants us to go downwards. Sweet. Alright, what is it? Another room. It looks like we can dig downwards. I wonder, could we maybe find something interesting? Alright, either way, we could put a ladder down and we can rotate of R and F, I think it says. Alright. I was just telling us we can go this way. Okay. Let's go ahead and dig down because there might be possible treasure, our guy says. It doesn't sound like a good plan, but you know, whatever. There's like some kind of log can in there, which actually looks kind of cool. Look at the face on that thing, too. Looks pretty glorious. Alright, I don't know where I'm supposed to go, because I don't think I can actually dig through this little floor here. downwards we're exploring ah okay there it is it's a treasure chamber but where's the treasure is there treasure even here at all? Alright, there's a table over there with the door message written on it. Should interact it to see if it's worth anything. Okay. So let's interact with this. Contains important information. Ah, there's a message written on it. We also got an achievement. Strike the earth. The message is written on it. Dear Prince, if you're reading this, then well then You've proven that you know which way to properly know your people. The uh, treasure for you now is you're ready to go complete the trial. With love, King Father. Grr, fine. Dwarves, when we're ready, we should go back to the world screen. Stupid father. One day I'll show you. It doesn't mean we won't be worth much more here. But we can leave the area now and head back whenever we're ready. So, we're going to click on the map. And we're going to return to the world. And that is going to be the basic tutorial completed, which is pretty good. We did everything in it that is necessary, so we got a lot of influence, which is really, really good for our character. So guys, it is time for us to continue on the journey. But before we go here, I would like to say thank you so much for watching. My name is Daniel. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff down below. If you want to join us and become a member, there's a link in the description. If you want to support us, you can follow us a PayPal link in the description. And if you're interested in buying some merch, there's a link for all that as well. But like always, what do we say, Alicia? Peace!